Where are we going to Movie Vault? That's movie great. Vault. And move, Movie Vault is what, you ask? <laughs> it is a vault of movies that are unknown to the public that we have uh, scavenged, um, and they have uh, great uh, uh, movie stars that you know of. Let's go back to the beginning. Yeah. We're movie buffs. Movie buffs. We love yeah. all movies, yeah. and we have a vault. Yeah. Of just, which is basically just a collection of movies that, mm. I mean, since they've been making movies, we got right. we got most of them. Yeah. And you forget about a lot of these movies because only the classics survive. You know, the ones who everyone loves, like mm-hmm. your Casablancas and your Gone with the Wind. Yeah. But we, you forget that they were making movies just like they are now. They were popping out movies at the same rate they were back then as they are now. Yeah, you so would you wouldn't think so because they weren't you know exposed. To yeah. everyone, they would just put them in a vault, and they would put them away. Be like that wasn't a great movie, but we're digging them back up. We we brought yeah. them back and we watch yeah. them and we give you reviews on them. Yeah, you know, because people worked hard on those movies. They did, and and nowadays and some of them aren't that bad. No, they're not that bad at all. Some of them are in the vault for a reason because they're not good, but some of them are not half bad. And no. uh, you know, look at how much mediocre. Look how many mediocre films are being made these days that get uh, all the attention. Uh, and these movies that are in the vault have not gotten that attention, and that's what we're here for. And they have, yeah, some yeah. of our most revered actors have acted in them. Yeah. Revered directors. I mean, there's a lot of history in these vaults, so we would like to yeah. dust them off, mm-hmm. present them back to you, and maybe yeah. maybe find out you like something. Yeah. And uh, so what we're gonna do is. Um, well, we need to pick a category first. What do you What do you want to do? Category. We covered boxing last week. We did boxing. So inspirational stuff. Um, <laughs> we've done westerns. Westerns. Um, let us. Let's do. What are you thinking? Let's go across the pond. Okay. Okay. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Or Europe. I'm thinking. Jap- Jap- Japan. 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 That's what you said. Yeah. Japanese films. Japanese okay. film. Samurai films. Samurai films. Very okay. classic. Very good. Okay. Okay. So let's pick out a samurai film. Let's get in here. Let's get into our vault here. Um, okay. Um, well, we have uh, we have some movies from what genre do you want? Forties, fifties, sixties. I just said samurai. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what that is. I'm not a, I'm not a samurai buff. You're the samurai buff. All right, okay? why, don't you, why don't you step aside? I'll pick out okay. I'll pick out a samurai. Go, go movie, for it. Okay? Go for it. All right, uh, and of course, as we know, there's lots of classic samurai films that have mm-hmm. been entered into the Criterion Collection, and like you know, just all kinds of good good ones. Seven Samurai mm-hmm. is the one that comes to mind. That's a really good movie. Um, but I want to pick a more obscure one, mm. and the one I'm going to pick, of, ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. This one is called The Blade of the Lotus. The Blade of the Lotus. The Blade of the Lotus. That is the oh. movie I'm going to pick. Classic samurai film. Yeah. Classic hero's journey type film. Mm-hmm. Um. Man goes on a quest to find the Blade of the Lotus. The Blade of the Lotus. And on his way, he encounters a lot of different different characters. Mm. And when I say characters, I mean they're characters. Mm. Like he encounters a clown. Wow, okay. On one part of his journey. He, uh, he encounters two homeless men. Okay. Who try to steal his satchel of rice. Oh, God. Yeah. Um... And and these are all comedic bits. These yeah. are all comedic bits. So they're gags, pretty much. Yeah, but yeah. they play into the overall arc of what is a drama mm-hmm. of him finding the blade of the lotus. Okay. So um, I'm not well versed in the samurai films. Um, so it's basically a quest of a man who is a um, who is very well trained in martial arts and or with the samurai. Well, sure. that's the thing. See, he wants yeah. to be. Oh, he wants not. to be. He wants okay. to be a samurai more than anything in his yeah. in his life. He wants to be a samurai, okay. but he doesn't have the skill for it. But oh. someone tells him the legend of the blade of the lotus. Mm. If you get that, you'll become the greatest samurai, mm-hmm. right? But the blade of the lotus, of course, is guarded by actual samurai. Yeah, guarded by 
the shogun, mm -hmm. which is, you know, like a president, mm. and he commands all the samurai of his okay. land. So, our hero in this movie... Yeah. I'm, I'm looking it up right now. Kojin. 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 Kojin, um, Kojin Tashi. I'm Kojin looking Tashi, it up right now. Yeah, yeah. Kojin Tashi. Kojin Tashi. He's played by... Wow. This is amazing. Um, I'm sorry. You keep going. I'm looking it up. I'm looking at all this stuff. Yeah, up. okay. Yeah. Do you want to say uh, that? No, go ahead. Uh, I mean, this is amazing. Like, I, they, they got an American actor to play... Yeah. Um, what's his name? Kent. Koji. Koji. Kigashi. Koji Tashi. Koji. Oh, last name short. They shorten the last name, they actually. Do, they do. They do that. It's not like in the first. They don't shorten first names. No, no, no. But it's Katashi. Takashi. Te, oh, Takashi. Yeah. But they just say, they shorten it up. Tashi. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and. Um, Who's he played by? He's played by no other than then famed, famed actor, actor Cary Grant. Grant. Cary Grant. Exactly. Wow. Cary Grant is Cary in Grant this movie. Cary Grant is in this movie. He was, uh, he is 6'2", so he played, um, uh, the, the samurai guy as 6'2", and, mm -hmm. um, wow, that's amazing. So, so, it looks like they got him, I'm reading him right now, uh, Cary Grant initially declined to do the film, but, uh, uh director, um, director, uh, Bugsy, uh, what? Bugsy Hoshi. Bugsy Hoshi. It's a big Japanese um, director. But yeah, yeah. He decided to adopt a, a, a sort of Hollywood name to yeah. sort of try to break into Hollywood. He was actually a big fan of Bugsy Siegel. Yeah. So he who decided. Who invented Las Vegas. Who invented Las Vegas, and then he decided to take his name. Yeah. Because I'm reading his bio too. So Bugsy Tashi. Or Bugsy what? Bugsy Tashi. Bugsy Tashi. So same last name. So, but he decided to give his last name to the to the main character. Because he wanted, he's really into names. He's really attached to the fact that, like, he wants his name to be out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like that, you know. I mean, yeah. he, he's a promoter, you know. He decided Bugsy, uh, Bugsy Tashi um, was the director, and he paid Cary Grant back then, which is a lot of money, $50,000 to be in this movie yeah. in 1949, right? And this was after Hiroshima and uh, Nagasaki. Yeah. And uh, so this was, this is, Japan wasn't in the height of their sort of country's existence. Mm -hmm. They're really trying um, to forget that. Yeah, so they're trying to, you know, a, a, a story of valor and courage mm -hmm. is definitely what the public needed at the time. And, um, and wow, I mean, this is, this is a star-studded cast, you know? Yeah, I yeah. know. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, Judy Garland is the lead uh, actress. Is, she plays... Yeah. The woman who owns the inn. Oh yeah. yeah, in the city. Right. Of the Lotus. Right. And she actually turns into love interest. Oh. Yeah. So. But she's playing a Japanese woman. She's playing a Japanese woman. So is Cary Grant. Yeah. You know. Yeah, he's um, playing a Japanese person too. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, I, uh, I mean, I think we've talked about it enough. I think we, we want to. Well, yeah, I can, I can. That's the basic story of it. With yeah. the two main players, who are uh, American actors, Cary Grant and yeah. um, Judy Garland, right. who are in this movie. Um, I'd like to go through some of the key scenes. Okay, totally. So, this is a scene, this is a pretty pretty well-known scene mm. for people who know this genre. Right. Uh, this is the scene where Cary Grant Tashi mm -hmm. goes... To his mentor, his mm -hmm. guide, I guess his Yoda figure. Mm -hmm. It's what Yoda would be based on. Okay. And asks him for guidance in becoming a samurai. He was based on Yoda, or Yoda was was this? Is that yeah, Yoda came after? Yeah. Right. Of course. Yeah. No, I know that, oh, but okay. I'm saying that like mentor, was, this, was this guy inspired? Was this guy uh, was what inspired Yoda? Is what? I'm yes, saying. exactly. Okay, yeah. So. Very similar. Okay, well, this is cool. So, yeah. so he's basically telling. So, so it's a. He's asking for uh, permission to become a samurai, mm -hmm. but he is about to meet a rude awakening. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and go with that. Click clack. <laughs> oh, sir. Who are you? Who you are? Christian. Honorable gentleman. Is that Tashi? You are no match for me. 
You leave your master. I don't want to fight you. I want to. I want to be your disciple. Oh, you sound like John Wayne. Why you come here to ask me to teach you? I want nothing more in my life than to be a samurai warrior. Why do you want to be samurai warrior? Because it is an honorable thing that we are samurai, and it is an honorable life to live and an honorable death to die a samurai. Oh, ho, 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 you must get from within. Try you must not. Do you must do. I don't understand. <laughs> did your nods are going to slap you? I, di I didn't know that. Samurai knows when the other person going to slap you or draw his sword. Sing! <laughs> 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 Now you are naked. Oh. Your curls are gone. Uh, oh, this is a mistake coming to you. This is a rude awakening, is it not? Wow. wow. I mean, yeah. action right off the bat. I, I mean, I can see how the Yoda uh, inspired or yeah, was inspired yeah, yeah. by this. You know, yeah. he uses the same sentence the guru, structure. The guru of sorts. Yeah. Of the movie. Some lines that were literally taken from the movie were in Bird Star Wars. Him, yeah. yeah, I don't. I think George Lucas was counting on people to forget this movie. Uh, yeah, but we didn't forget. Oh, sorry, George. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love the the sort of prospecting, sort of Western feel Cary Grant brings into it. Yeah, too. yeah. I don't know. He knew how to play yeah. Japanese, and which is fine. Yeah. You know. Well, I'm looking here. Uh, Bugsy, uh, uh, Bugsy Tashi, Bugsy Tashi, yeah. Bugsy Tashi uh, tricked him into saying it's going to be a Western film. So, uh, so the whole, I mean, this, this is a, this is actually a horrible thing that he did, um, to trick him. He said, uh, this is going to be, you're going to compete against John Wayne, um, in these movies. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know that. Yeah. And so this is, we're, we're filming it in Japan because it's cheap because of the f nuclear fallout. Oh. Um, so, I mean, it was filmed in, during the nuclear fallout, I mean, in the last five years. You can really tell with the scenery. Yeah, the scenery, um, and you, it's, you, it's you, depleted. You can tell later on, yeah. in, the, in the later scenes that they filmed, yeah. you know, the repercussions of filming there at that time. Right. I mean, you had, uh, you had disabled people walking around, um, you know, uh, animals with, with more than uh, the sufficient amount of limbs. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was a bad time. Not and good. once again, the, they tried to forget it by making this movie. Yeah, but they didn't because apparently they had just, re you know, uh, remnants of that, and that was not yeah, good. Yeah, well. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Cary Grant, I mean, I would, some would say uh, would, was um, bold in committing to his Western sort of cowboy uh, Listen, that's role. who he was. That's the kind of role he went for. Yeah. And he, he did it great. And the movie shows that. And later mm -hmm. on in the movie, that's one of the earlier scenes in the movie. Mm -hmm. Later on, you find out that, you know, uh, he can't be a samurai. Mm -hmm. But there's this loophole of mm -hmm. finding the blade. And he learns that from the girl at the end. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to key up that scene real fast. And, and where, where are we right now? I, I'm sorry. Huh? Where, where Where is the scene taking place? Oh, you'll see. Oh, okay. Okay. You'll see. Here we go. Oh, well, here I am, back in the town. How was your interaction with the uh, uh, sensei of the samurai that you were talking about? How'd you know that? I didn't tell anybody my business here. But, but you were saying it to yourself when you were walking out of the hotel room. I'm so sorry, sir. How dare you. Oh. Listen to my personal... Samurai business. You were saying it so loud I couldn't ignore it. Well, you I'm should. Because I'm a man and you're a woman. Yes. You mind your you mind your business. I should mind my business. I'm so sorry, sir. I bought you some sushi that we make here in the hotel. Would you like some? It's What it is is basically raw fish wrapped in, in mayonnaise and rice and seaweed. It's delicious. You said, you said raw fish? Uh, yes. 
Raw fish is good for you, actually. It's got omega-3, which is fish oils, and it's good for your bones. And your memory. Okay. Oh, watch out. Bandits oh, are coming. Oh, no, bandits. Oh, get out my, my my samurai sword. Oh, oh please get down faster. You're not fast uh, enough. Uh, Didn't you learn anything? Uh, oh, no, the bandits are coming. Uh, oh, why? Did you take the cigarette out of your mouth. It's probably not okay to have that cigarette in your mouth. Oh, come on, my hair just fell out. No, what? <laughs> See, wow. Was, <laughs> I mean, you re- really showed. I mean, that rude awakening was, was just transferred onto the next scene there, and uh, Judy Garland just, just captivating to me, you mm-hmm. know? One of her earlier roles, yeah. yeah. Uh, a, a little confused at her uh, choice of, of, um, of, uh, of accent. Yeah, it was a little strange yeah. for a Japanese film. Yeah. But, I mean, it's a different time. It's a different time and a different era and a different uh, attitude, you know? A brand new attitude, yeah. A brand new attitude in Japan. Um, and, and I guess she, uh, I was reading here that Bugsy, uh, uh, Bugsy Tashi also told her that she was going to be the, the inn lady, sort of the, the, the maitre, I don't know, is it called Maitre D or, or mm, no? I don't know, um, just the innkeeper. The innkeeper, yeah, 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 yeah. And it was going to be filmed in. Uh, That's actually what she's credited as. Yeah. She doesn't have a name in the film. Innkeeper. Yeah, even though she's the leading lady. Yeah. Yeah. Um, innkeeper, uh, and, and they didn't know how to spell it, so they spelt it uh, I N N with a silent J at the end of that. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> uh, C E P P, three P's E R. It's really weird. That's a, that was a, not a good decision by Bo, old Bugsy there. <laughs> no, it was yeah. not good. It was kind of a rush job, I think, at yeah. the end there. It says production was halted because of the um, the confusion with the cast members here, and they had a last-minute editing session that lasted. Well, you have that, to remember, yeah. also, there was a language barrier. Of course. Because Bugsy, yeah. Bugsy Tashi, yeah. didn't speak English. Mm. But he hired these American actors because he wanted his film to have American appeal. Yeah. Yeah. We actually have footage, or documentary footage, a little bit, of, yeah. of Bugsy uh, um, talking to Carrie, uh, Carrie Grant, and, mm-hmm. um, and, and he is, uh, is basically, it, it, there's this huge lack of communication there, and it's just divide, like you were talking about, and it yeah, really yeah, yeah. Show, shows that. I'm, I'm looking on the internet here, and it just uh, shows this little documentary. I think we should, we play, should play it. it. Yeah, I play it. Um, so so this is, this is uh, Bugsy Tashi uh, trying to tell Carrie Grant uh, what to do. I don't understand. I don't understand what you're saying. What are you saying? 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 You don't... John Wayne? You yeah. want... Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Oh, how's that? How's that? Whee! You could you could see it was such a hard difficult thing. It's it's a wonder how yeah. they got these performances out of him at all. I know. I mean, this is this is amazing. I mean, uh, I, I guess it shows. It really just shows the credit of Judy Garland and, and Cary Grant in their ability to improvise. Yeah. Because it says here, Cary Grant was interviewed. Says I had no idea. This is, this is a quote from Cary Grant. This film was the biggest mistake of my career. Uh, I literally had no uh, a script in Japanese that I threw away instantly and burned to the ground with a cigarette, and I basically improvised all my lines uh, in this movie. Wow! Uh, so I mean, that's uh, Bugsy Tashi is a joke and should never be revered as any sort of director of any sort of cinema whatsoever. And he never was. And he never was. I mean, that was his first and last film. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I mean, as the story goes on... Um, it lives on, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it lives on in our minds. Um, but, uh, and we're here. And we're here. And, and, and I mean, if, I'm sure uh, we, have, um, we have some of the uh, uh, scenes from his journey... Mm-hmm. After the bandits, well, let me, come, yeah, let yeah. me tell you what happens after the yeah. bandits. Yeah. Okay, so the bandits come, uh, totally. He gets, he gets, you know, he gets beat up. Yeah, pretty He's bad. Embarrassed in front of uh, Judy Garland, the innkeeper. Mm-hmm. He goes back to his room, and she slips a note under his door that tells him 
that he's not that great of a samurai. Mm -hmm. But if he wants to be, all he has to do is find the blade of the lotus. Yes. And then light bulb appear for him. Yeah. He he starts his journey. Bugsy was also a literal director, so he had a light bulb hanging on a string above his head. Yeah, that was a I think they they were going for comedy. Yeah. And there it, was a light bulb yeah. above his head, yeah. Bugsy said he wanted to really just go along all the genres. Yeah. And comedy was one of them he wanted to add in there. He was more of a scattershot type of director. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> that that's exactly how to describe him. <laughs> So that was great. Um, but, but yeah, Judy Garland's character knows about the Blade of the Lotus mm -hmm. and tells him. Because yeah. she sees how horrible he is. And he's aging, clumps of hair falling out. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's smoking a cigarette, which he probably shouldn't do. No. He's yeah. overweight. Um, so, but, uh, but... But he goes he goes on this journey because the yeah. Lotus, the Blade of the Lotus, is on top of a mountain, mm -hmm. guarded by a shogun, mm -hmm. and his army of samurai. Yeah. So, you, so already we're setting up yeah. To be an epic finale, an epic third act. Yeah. But along the way, mm -hmm. you know, he he gets his satchel of rice, mm -hmm. and he gets his samurai sword, and he starts walking. Yeah. Because back then, mm -hmm. or, you know, the era they're trying to convey, they don't have cars or anything. So mm -hmm. he gets there, the first person he meets on the road is a clown. Mm -hmm. Played by the young uh, Don Rickles. Don Rickles, yeah, yeah, is in this movie. Trying to break out into showbiz. Playing a Japanese clown. Yeah. And he follows he follows our hero, yeah. Tashi, on on his road, yeah. on his journey. Yeah. He's, yeah. So do you want to see I wanna see that. Um I wanna see I wanna first see the the uh, foreboding the warning from Judy Garland, because she knows all the cast of characters. And then let's jump right to the scene. I think it really adds the suspense to it. Yeah, so you want to see yeah. the scene right before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah sure. Here, I'm queuing it up. Okay. Well, the Blade of the Lotus is at the top of the tippy top of the mountain. Okay? Bump Take up. extra sushi for you so you get energy and omega-3s. Here, I'll put them on a satchel full of rice. Oh, perfect. They go well with rice. Um, well, along the way, you'll come across a cast of characters. And they'll be mighty fine to overcome their, their wrath. Some have different skill sets and abilities that will thwart you from getting to said mountain. Now, the first one, well, I won't tell you because your expectations will be risen too high. Well, uh, okay. Well, okay, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Okay. The first one will be a clown. He is a destructive man, a man with personal problems that could reach from here to the top of the Hiroshima cloud that we're all trying to overcome here in this beautiful land of Japan. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, anyways, that analogy might have been a little bit too harsh for you, but the man is is scarred, and he will mess with your thoughts, and he will try to distract you from getting to the mountain, but he's... Anyways, well, that's the first one. I won't tell you about the other ones. Okay, good, because I gotta go. Be safe, you're so brave. Bye. Well, here I am down the road, just walking to get slayed a Hey, how you doing? Hey. Hey, uh, you may not pass these, uh, these, uh, uh, Tokashi, uh, mountains without my permission. <sighs> yeah, or mine. <laughs> Was that a joke? <sighs> uh, I don't know what's going on, but this, this gangster, and this clown over here, I'm gonna cut you up. My samurai sword. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's a flimsy sword, I see. Uh, oh, look at a sword. It's uh, so flimsy. <laughs> hey, shut up, clown. Let me talk to this guy straight. Uh, you, you go for it. Deal. All right. So, I wanted to be a clown when I came here. When I came to these mountains. But... There was another clown, and his name was Clowny Clown, the clown himself, and I just stayed my regular old self as his gangster. But I had one thing to do was to, was to man these mountains and to protect the mountains from anyone that's trying to get the blade of the lotus. And you're not going to get towards it, because you're a Westerner man. I'm, I'm full-blooded Japanese, and I'm a samurai. Look at this. Oh, oh! 
You cut my arm off, kid. But guess what? I got three other limbs that work perfectly fine. Uh, okay. Well, how about this? Oh, God! My finger that's holding the cigar! Oh, God, you're killing him! Now I can't smoke my cigar! Fuck! Wow. Wow, Jesus. That's yes. <laughs> the clown was dancing around everyone the entire time, yeah, too. Yeah, that yeah. was a little strange. A little strange. Um... And they also said the F word, which yeah. was, at this time, unheard of. Yeah, they didn't know what that word meant in Japan. They didn't know what um, it meant, yeah. No. And by the way, these are all overdubbed, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so <laughs> I mean, these are... These are Japanese. These are ab- actors yeah. are Japanese, except for Don Knotts. Don Knotts, yeah. Who did speak Japanese, but dubbed over his own voice. Yeah. As the clown. Yeah, Don Knotts was the clown, Don Rickles was the gangster. Yeah. Um, so a great comedic pair. You didn't know that? You didn't see him? No, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, you did? I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I confuse them, Don and Don, you know. Yeah, because originally when I went to the scene, I thought that the, the clown was going to be Don Rickles, right? But then, and I was, you know, um, they, see, see, I thought he was going to play this sort of gangster clown, right? And no, that was that no, was what I, I thought. That. Yeah. Yeah, but then watching the scene, it it completely threw me off guard because it was just a gangster and a clown and a clown that was played by Don Knotts. You know, that was what it was. So I mean, that it threw me off. It's surprising. Yeah, <laughs> because Judy Garland clearly said that Don Rickles was supposed to play the clown. You know, be and 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 I mean, she described him as I would think Don Rickles. You know, I mean, that's who I would think. So. Anyways, I mean, I, I mean, but see, that's that's filmmaking, you know. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it, you know? Uh, what I really love, I mean, that was a confusing scene that just basically ended up he's just chopping his limbs off one by one, and he was not phased at all by it, which is weird. But the next scene was you, you mentioned it was a couple hobos, a couple of Jap. They call them Jap hobos, and they were Jap hobos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the same the stick and the in the um. The satchel, that satchel yeah. and then the, 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 the tattered clothing and the, and the, the cigar uh, that was flipping out of their mouth. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, um, I can't remember who's playing them. The hobos? Yeah, the hobos. Uh, do you remember? Yes, I do remember, oh, okay. actually. That was uh, an unknown actor at the time. Yeah. But we all know him now today. Oh. It was a man by the name of Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith. Yeah. Okay. Actually, he met Don Knotts on this movie. Wow. Yeah. He played the first hobo. The second yeah. hobo was played by none other than Michael Ronson. Michael Ronson? Who went on to play no other movie. Michael Ronson. Michael Ronson. Is an unknown actor. An unknown actor. Yeah. yeah. Let, I'm, let me look up his IMDb profile here. Okay. Michael Ronson. All right. Oh, he's a he's an English actor, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, it was his only film was uh, Blade of the Lotus. Just the, okay, yeah. yeah. I didn't believe you. I did, I wanted to look it up. Okay, yeah. But, but uh, he meets them. He meets them. Yeah. And all these people, mm-hmm. he meets them, and they go on the journey with him. Mm-hmm. So by the end, he's not he's not doing this by himself. He oh. has, you know, he met. He met the clowns, right. Don Rickles and Don Knotts. He met the hobos, yeah. Andy Griffith and Michael Ronson. Yeah. And he meets the girl, the girl samurai, mm-hmm. who everyone told her she can't be a samurai. Mm-hmm. Her name is Ming Soon. Ming Soon. Yeah, Ming Soon. Okay. And together, they meet, they, you know, they go through all their trials but they get up to the gate mm-hmm. of the city mm. of the Lotus, mm-hmm. and that's where the fun begins. Okay. That's our big act three. Because, yeah, I was a little discouraged because this, up until that point, it's a two and a half hour movie. Yeah. And uh, it's a long, arduous battle mm-hmm. uh, up the up the mountain to the yeah. top. Um, mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, as I was watching this, uh, Don Rickles' uh, gangster character... Um, who ends up just being a torso with a with with a zoot suit <laughs> yeah. over him and, uh, and and a gangster hat yeah. as a young Don Rickles. I mean, yeah, he's very yeah, handsome, yeah. It's good. Uh, very very cutting and witty, and 
but he just ends up staying there at that location and then he decides the the Don Knotts clown goes with him and then that's his first friend in the journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then from there he collects all these friends. Yeah. And I love that. I mean, it's like a real, uh, it's like a Star Wars type of movie, you know? It's a little Star Wars, a little yeah. uh, Wizard of Oz, but before all any of these movies, so yeah, it's very... Um, well, just to correct you, Wizard of Oz was 1939, and this is 1949. Um, okay, so, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, but, you know, hey, it's like the same sort of feel, you know? It's that yeah. same feel. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to agree with you, yes, mm-hmm. that's correct. Yeah. And what I want to get to now is we know their journey. Mm. But the reason this movie was considered a success yeah. was because of the third act yes. and how everything tied together. So I want to play a clip. And by this point, uh, the clown mm-hmm. has been out of commission. He's not dead. He's out of commission. Mm-hmm. Um, the two hobos have successfully, uh, you know, uh, thwarted the army. Yeah. And uh, Ming Soon. Mm-hmm. And Tashi have made it into the temple. They yeah. have eyes on the blade. They have eyes on the blade of the lotus. Mm-hmm. And the shogun comes out in full samurai armor. Mm-hmm. And he has his sword. And they're ready to fight him. Mm-hmm. This is where the twist comes in. Ming Soon, yeah. who was we thought was a love interest, turned coats. And now Tashi... Classic. Tashi has to fight both of them to yeah. get the the blade of the lotus. And um, the the man who is the what, what's the, the the shogun the shogun yeah played. he's only known as shogun yeah only known as shogun his actor's name oh the actor who played yeah, him because I'm looking it up right now and I mean I haven't seen this part but it says that it was played by none other than Orson Welles yes that's correct I mean, Orson that Welles is I mean wow was the shogun. Orson Welles. I mean, the the voice of a generation. The voice of a generation. Um, I mean, a, a brilliant entertainer. But but the final scene is so great because it's when they finally meet. Yeah. You know? And I just want to see that interaction. I would love to see that. So let's key that up. I have been waiting for you. You are not a worthy opponent. You are the most unworthy opponent I have ever seen. You... Full Japanese descent, a man of 6'2". You think you have learned the ways of the samurai arts, but you have not. You, indeed, are a failure and will never achieve. Oh, and by the way, your lady friend next to you? Uh, Yeah. She is with me. (gasps) Come here, bitch. <laughs> Good girl. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you didn't see that coming, did you? She was my friend. She she helped me, and I told her things that I've never told anyone before. She only helped you so she could get you to me so I could defeat you. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? I will pet her like a dog. Uh, try your sword. I'm taking your head. Okay, get away. I will fight you now. But the way of the samurai is we must fight in the nude. Did no one tell you of this? Well, I'm I'm new to being a samurai, so... Yeah, I think I heard that somewhere before. Well, let me help you get nude. <laughs> you are now naked, and I have clothes on still. You still have your samurai armor on. Yes, because I need it. I tricked you. <laughs> oh, Tashi, I'm so sorry. Here, take this armor. No, bitch! <laughs> you must not throw him the armor. You are my bitch. Hold on while I put this armor on me. <sighs> Well, because you are a sickling, unworthy... Stop putting your armor on! It's distracting me! Okay, I will derobe and become nude. Shogun, I'm only going to say this once. What? 
This this blade is mine. Any way you slice it. Oh, oh, goodness! Oh, you cut my penis off! My penis is on the ground! Uh, stop! Oh. 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 Okay. I shall now take my own life, because that is the way of the samurai. And as soon as I am done, then you shall take the sword. This sword I have in my hand, which is the blade of the lotus. The blade of the lotus was there the whole time. Yes. That was a decoy. Yes. Okay, who pointed that out? Was it that hobo over there? It was the hobo. Okay, we fucking know, okay, that, that the sword of the lotus is in my hand because I just said it. You don't need to point out that that's the decoy. Of course it is. I just said this is the this is the sword of the lotus and I'm holding it in my hand. Okay, all right, I get it. You, seriously, you're ruining my fucking glory as a samurai master. I understand. Can you shut him up? Just kill yourself. Tashi, can you please shut him up? Uh, just, just stop. There's, there's people. There's so many people around. Keep I'm going. Just keep going with okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. The blade of the lotus is entering my chest. This is the real one I'm holding. The real blade of the lotus. As soon as I have died, you shall extract it from my person and be the greatest samurai to ever have lived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like the things you said. Okay, just don't say that you like it. Just let me have my moment of glory. Oh, those are his guts. Yes, I know. You don't have to say that. Can no one talk, actually, when I'm doing this? Is that okay for no one to talk at all? Okay? Because there's a moment I have to have in my head where I die, and I know that I'm dying for glory. Okay? I have to kill myself after. No, you don't. There's no rules for you to kill yourself. Why do you think that? You always actually say that. Jesus. Okay, I'm continuing to take the real lord, the little lotus, the blade of the lotus in my chest. Ah! I were running out of film. No! <laughs> Who said that? Uh, Tell him to hurry up. No. Stop. No talking. Okay. I'm about to die. Take the sword from me and you shall be crowned. The best. Ugh. Oh. Wow, oh, and that's man. how the movie that's ends. That's how the movie ends. That was um intense. There's a Did lot of profanity. Yeah. A lot of profanity. Yeah, a lot of profanity in that one. That was really I mean, really intense profanity. Yeah. Yeah. Orson but, Welles. Uh, captivating performance. He just Commands your attention from the get. I mean, really, it does from I? From the get go. From the get go. I mean, uh, the the hobo is like is just is stopping him from his glory. Yeah. You know, by by ruining the moment. Yeah. By saying all those things, um, and and it's just, I mean, and then he takes the sword of the lotus, and he and he he skips along with it, and he, he takes it. Yeah. He is the man. That, I mean, he the credits roll over him just. Taking the sword and walking yeah. into the sunset. Into the sunset, and then he takes the sword to the innkeeper. Yeah. And he shows her what he's done through yeah. the credits. So the movie's the, still going yeah. while the credits are rolling. Yeah, so, exactly. So Bugsy Tashi didn't understand that he had to... Let's remember, this is first and last movie. First so. and last movie by Bugsy. So, I mean, not always the best. Tarantino didn't make his best movie the first shot. No. Uh, George Lucas didn't. Mm. Uh, for Francis Ford Coppola, nope. No, yeah. I mean, they're all shit, you know. So, but they kept going with it. He just decided that Bugsy, it. Bugsy yes. was 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 not allowed to work ever again no. in any place, you know. Yeah. Um. And uh. And and Bugsy. Uh, um. You know. His he, he shortly um after this was uh was was really ridiculed in the press. Yeah, so much so that he had to. He had to sequester himself away from public ever again. Yeah, he did become a um, he did become a local artist of um, 
of uh, what was it? I'm looking up online here because you're forgetting. I was looking at his boat profile here. Yeah, he was. Um, oh, he was the. Uh, he was the artist of the. Um, Xanadu. Xanadu. Xanadu, those uh, those murals that he makes in Xanadu, were Bugsy Tashi. He was yeah. the one who painted those. He did. He also invented the fly swatter. Yeah. Little known fact. <laughs> yeah. We can thank him for that. Because on the set of the movie, there were so many flies, uh, because the flies are attracted to radiation, because there was so much radiation going yeah. on that he, um, he, he took a, um, a, uh, um, a, um, a screen door, and then he put a stick on the, he cut a piece of the screen door out, mm -hmm. and he got a stick, and he taped the stick to the screen door, oh, made a fly swatter. That's funny. And he invented that. So, I mean, there's little, movie is not... The, the best movie, but some yeah. great things come out some, of it. Yeah, some great things came out of it. Yeah, excellent. Um, we have a few reviews. Yeah, just one movie. review, just one. Yeah. Because it's such not a well-known movie. Yeah. So we have one review, and this comes from T.J. Henderson. Mm hmm And he says that... I'm reading it. It's in Japanese, so I'm going to have to translate it. Oh, okay. Um, okay, he says that this is broken English translation of this Japanese, but I'm going to read it. Um, <clears throat> movie is so great. Would love to be in this movie. Would love to meet people in this movie. Would love watch movie again. Okay, I will. <laughs> That's a very simple review that just yeah. kind of just says he likes the movie, wants yeah. to be in it. Sort of an unrealistic <laughs> but review. But he'll just settle for watching it again. Just yeah. more of a statement of his own personal wants and yeah, desires. Well, it's opinion. Yeah. It's his opinion. He's entitled to have it. Yes. Um, I actually found this review here. Oh, you found a second review? Yeah, yeah, Chicago Tribune, um, oh, 1950. Okay. Um, and it's by uh, Lester uh, Jacobson. Okay. Uh, one of the uh, Chicago Tribune movie movie writers. I'll go and read it. Um, great, 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 great. Um, <clears throat> I can't believe this is considered an actual cinematic film. Bugsy Tashi is a poor excuse for a director and should be outcasted for all the things that he's done. He purposefully didn't shift the camera away from the set and decided to be in some of the scenes and smile as he was accidentally in some of the scenes. Uh, in the final scene where Orson Welles, who... Uh, was tricked into playing a uh, um, a Western prospector, uh, was the samurai uh, showman. And um, at the end of the scene, he... I'm trying to read this here. Um, uh, uh, Bugsy screamed out in, in terror, saying there's no more film left in the camera. I remember that part. Remember that yeah, part? Yeah, yeah, you can hear uh, And ruins the, the poor excuse for a climax for the movie. This movie... I would rather look at rabid, inf gonorrhea-infested dog poop than watch this okay. movie. Jeez, that's fair. Well... He has a few other analogies here. Does he really? Yeah. Um, I would rather uh, run my balls... Wow. This is... <laughs> this is over the a, Chicago Tribune? Yeah, yeah, I'd rather run my balls over a cheese grater and, oh, uh, and shoot my own grandmother in the, in the foot and watch her bleed out. For days on end, then watch this film. He's got three more. Oh my gosh! Uh, I would rather have had a extremely horrific childhood opposite of my actual one than have watched this movie halfway through. <laughs> this is pretty Jeez. harsh. The last one is: I would rather have this world have Hitler have won the war than have watched this film. Or even heard of its existence. Oh God, that's a little too much. And he's Jewish too. Oh my. Yeah. Well, respectfully disagree. I you disagree. I think it's great. I mean, it's a movie that that it's just there's nothing like it nowadays, and and it inspired a generation. You're, ne you're never going to see a movie like this again. Ever. No. Never going to see this movie again. Never ever. Yeah. It was great. Well, that will do it for us. The movie time. Movie time, movie vault. Movie vault. Uh, so we will catch you on the flippity flap. Next movie vault, when we watch a different movie.
from this one. Yes.